Greetings all. Uh, welcome to this very short clip that I'm throwing on for you for the update to the new Arevna Den series that I'm making. It'll probably be a three or four part series within the topic. So who knows, anywhere between a half hour to an hour or so long each particular episode, and it'll be just three or four parts. Uh, I will be going into the topic of dark thoughts what we've been struggling with during this time, the the uh, the battle between the flesh and the spirit, and listening to what God said and what the prophets are saying and what the watchmen on the wall are saying versus what is actually happening in reality and happening in the now. And we're just, it, we're seeing such a confliction and such a battle and such a fight that it is hard for some of us to believe that this is actually going to come to fruition, that these things which God says he's going to be doing is actually going to be coming, even though... We've constantly had a barrage from all sorts of people saying it's going to get darker. It's going to get darker. It's oh, it's just going to get perpetually darker until the flip happens, until that particular uh, day. Who knows when it is? It's been going on for years now. We've been waiting every single day for like three, four years for this thing to kick off. And we've just seen trickles and trickle and trickle and little droplets here and there coming out. But it seems since about the end of... Uh, 2023 around Yom Kippur I'm guessing is is when it started to turn and twist and we started to see a little bit of exposures coming out more and more and more and then when 2024 hit it was like this big explosion of just stuff coming out and it's just been like a non-stop geyser of information and flipping and we've seen people starting to wake up certain commentators that have been questioning stuff like this are actually starting to side more with what the white hats and the prophets and watchmen and the wall have been saying people like tim pool and stuff like that so hold on one sec and joe rogan and many of these other commentators that we've been listening to throughout the years um still waiting on a few other friends of mine to <laughs> come to the realization of what's happening so won't lie it's it's been kind of like slamming my head up against a wall trying to get their attention and wake people up and be like we need to listen and pay attention and see the signs of what's going down especially if you're a christian right now at this time it's a little bit more understandable if you're agnostic or a skeptic or an atheist and you're just like, oh, this is just all conspiracy theory bs um you guys are talking you know out of your behind <laughs> sorry my girls are constantly peeking in on me for some reason so um and so with situations like that, I think it's going to take a little bit longer for them to wake up. I think in the long run, the more progression that we get into this darkness, into this constant barrage of like evil ramping up because they're seeing that the exposures are coming out. They're seeing that people have been um, understanding that, um, you know, they've, they've been had and that it's these people in particular that are causing it. I think they're just going to go full throttle and say, OK, not nuke, but just bioweapons, you know, wars, everything we possibly can to get these people underneath our boot again. And I think it's going to come to a major fail with that, not because of what we do, but because we are in agreement with God and what he is going to do. And we are partakers of this turnaround that he's doing. It's not just us. It's going to be God and uh, not any man or any government or any political system or anything less any man should boast. This all the rewards going to be going to God. And I think a lot of people are going to be starting to see that in the future. Uh, and until then, it seems we're fighting more against ourselves than we are the enemy. At this point, I almost don't even care what the enemy does anymore. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm just fighting with my own urges and my own thoughts, my own discouragement and depression and despair every single day. And we keep going through this circle over and over and over and over and over again, constantly, you know, trying to fighting with ourselves against what God said he was going to do. And I think the reason I'm doing these dark thoughts series right now as the first topic is because, um, we need to go into our thoughts, into the process of how we're thinking, into even the spiritual aspect of everything and the biblical aspect of everything and go, okay, what are we truly fighting against? What are we not believing that God or that the Bible even explains we should have faith in? Why are we so against it out of the countless amounts of times that God has done this in the past? Is it because we don't believe it? Is it because we thought it, this was for a bygone era? Um, is because we don't think we're worthy enough or that our friends are worthy enough or family is worthy enough or that our business is worthy enough and none of us in the world right now are worthy enough for this or that God just doesn't listen to us anymore um, or that's for somebody else, not for me because I'm not special enough in God's eyes. 
I think we need to take a long, hard look exactly at how we think and how to push these urges, this depression or dark thoughts we have out of us, even if they're our own, though I think the majority of it is oppression. I don't want to say possession, but oppression of the enemy beating us down because they really do not want us to be in alignment with what God is saying right now. And I think once we come to this conclusion and start speaking into what God wants us to do, we'll see a turnaround or at least a comfort and a peace coming over us where the chains are broken off and um, we could start acting more in accordance to what he is calling us to do without begrudgingly going <sighs> again okay so that is where i will be going into it i'm going to do this through the process of reducto ad absurdum as what c.s lewis calls is an old greek philosophy of taking uh your theory or idea that you have and working it out to its uh, ultimate conclusion if the conclusion itself is absurd then the whole question needs to be thrown out or you know realigned to the direct route that it should be going uh it's going to take me some research to dive into it i might actually even have some notes this time I think since it's going to be very sporadic and I'm going to be coming in and just talking and then maybe stopping coming in, you know, a couple hours or a few days later, coming back in and talking again. So I'm going to rearrange it to where it's like one video, but it'll be maybe different sections within the episode where I'll be speaking at different times. So I don't want to prepare and get all this ready and I'll light the candles and all that stuff. They're electric anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, I just got a light changer up here, which is this so i could change it to any light i want i thought i'd just do purple because that's my favorite color um so i'll be sticking with that just changing the light up here going really lowercase not really spoofing it up in here um you know this is my shirt i still gotta get dressed for work i gotta leave in about five minutes but um yeah I, i'm gonna make it really quick i'm gonna be it's gonna be very obscure season or a uh, topic series that i'm doing so i might get this trimmed up because I'm looking a little scraggly. I still have to get ready for work. I got to rush out the door. Um, I guess that's it. Just want to give you all a heads up on what I'm going to be doing. And uh, I hope to see you within the future very soon. Um, not sure how soon. Because uh, again, I'm going to be doing some reading and contemplating on this. I'm not just going to go into it buckshot like I usually do. And hope I hit something. Um, I'm going to try and really think this one through. As, uh, as Lewis and other theologians and apologetics would sorry had a brain freeze for a second so i guess that's it i need to go get ready get my coffee to wake up and i will see you all hopefully within the coming days or weeks take care and god bless love you